everyone, we are the BPED 41 Group 6 and you are watching our video log about Field Study 1, Activity 4, entitled The Teaching Learning Resources, ICT and the Curriculum. Enjoy your watching. So here are the types of curriculum that exist in the Department of Education. Number one is the recommended curriculum. It is the name given to the curriculum construed by the educational and stakeholders at the national level. It is more general and usually consists of policy guidelines. Number two is the written curriculum. It is the curriculum that is sanctioned and approved for classroom delivery. It, is, it represents society's needs and interests. Number three is the taught curriculum. This is also known as operational curriculum. This curriculum is delivered by the teachers to the student and defined as that which teachers actually teach day by day. Number four is the supported curriculum. It is the curriculum as reflected in the shape by the resources allocated to support and deliver the written curriculum. Number five is the assessed curriculum also known as tested curriculum. This curriculum that is reflected by the assessment or evaluation of the learners. Number six is the learned curriculum. This is also known as experience curriculum and all the changes occurred in the learners due to their school experience. It is the curriculum that the learner absorb or makes sense of as a result of interaction with the teacher, class fellows, or in the institution. And lastly, the hidden curriculum. It is a set of lessons which are learned but not openly intended to be taught in school such as the norms, values, and beliefs convey in both the classroom and social environment. Now we are going to talk about the elements or components of curriculum. Number one is the behavioral or desired learning outcomes. During our observation in Sir Oliver's class, he shared the possible learning outcomes regarding the topic that they will be discussing during the day. Learning outcomes are formulated by the teacher and share it to the class for the learners to be aware about what they could learn during the lesson. The learning outcomes are an important part of the discussion because this will serve as the guidance of the teacher on what relevant activities, strategies, and materials he should use during his class. In formulating the learning outcomes, it should contain the SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time-Bound. The number two elements of a curriculum is the content. The lesson must contain the subject matter, information regarding about the topic, the learning objectives, activities that align to your objectives, outline of your teaching goals, and the outline of how will you assess the learners and accomplish the learning objective. The next element of a curriculum is the teaching and learning methods or the strategies. In implementing this element of a curriculum inside the class of Sir Oliver, who was assigned to observe his class, he used a YouTube video to execute the motivation activities that introduces the topic for that day. He also used PowerPoint presentation to clearly deliver his lesson effect effectively and be able for the students to understand the lesson properly. Furthermore, he doesn't just use technology to discuss his lesson, but also uses body of movements to convey the lesson, especially the topic that is all about the Zumba dance. In this way, the teaching learning environment is successfully done. The last element of curriculum is the assessment slash the evaluation. This will assess the students after they have learned something during the discussion. The assessment or the evaluation must be aligned in the learning objectives and must be appropriate with the learner's level of understanding. Here are the procedures in the ICT in an ICT that were utilized to facilitate teaching learning process during the class of Sir Oliver. Number one is the motivation. Sir Oliver used the video, internet, laptop, in television. Number two is the presentation of the lesson. He used PowerPoint, presentation, laptop, in television. Number three is the development of the lesson. He used PowerPoint presentation, laptop, television, and body movements to further develop the lesson about Zumba. Number four is the generalization or closure. And Sir Oliver used verbal communication to summarize the lesson and ask guide questions. Number five is the application, enrichment, fixing skills, and he used PowerPoint presentation, laptop, and television. Lastly, the evaluation or assessment. 
Sir Oliver was not able to give assessment to the students after the discussion. He has asked guide questions using verbal communication. So, that's all about the Field Study 1 Activity for Vlog.